Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I am going to discuss the habitat, epidemiology and morphology of Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica causes amoebic dysentery or intestinal amoebiasis. So, the species Entamoeba histolytica is an amoeba that inhabit in the large intestine of humans and animals. It is the only pathogenic species among intestinal amoeba. This parasite was discovered by Fedor Lush in 1800. 75. Entamoeba histolytica comes under phylum Amoebozoa, subphylum Sarcodina, superclass Rhizopoda, order U. Amoebida. So, these are the introductory part of Entamoeba histolytica, and now I am entering into main topics. Habitats. Trophozoites of Entamoeba histolytica live in the mucus and submucus layers of large intestine. Geographical distribution. Entamoeba histolytica is worldwide in distribution, but more common in tropical and subtropical countries. It has been found wherever sanitation is poor in all climatic zones. The disease amoebiasis is a major health problem worldwide. The largest burden of the disease occurs in tropics of China, Central and South America and Indian subcontinents. It has been reported that about 10% of world population and 50% of the inhabitants of developing countries may be infected with the parasite. It is the third most common parasitic cause of death in the world. Approximately 50 million cases and 1,10,000 deaths are reported annually by WHO. Epidemiologically, India can be divided into three regions. High prevalence states Chandigarh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra. Moderate prevalence states Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Bihar, Assam, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Kerala. Low prevalence states Haryana, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Sikkim, Pondicherry etc. Now, I will discuss the morphological details of Entamoeba histolytica. It has three stages, trophozoid, pre-cyst and cyst. This is a diagram of trophozoid stage. It is the invasive form as well as the feeding and replicating form of the parasite. It is the only form present in tissues. It is irregular in shape. It measures 12 to 60 micrometer in diameter. The cytoplasm is divided into two zones, outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. The outer ectoplasm is clear, transparent and refractile. The inner endoplasm is finely granular. The granular endoplasm contains red blood cells, white blood cells, food vacuoles containing tissue debris and bacteria, a large nucleus, etc. The nucleus is spherical, 4 to 6 micrometer in diameter, contains central dot-like compact karyosome surrounding by a clear halo. Nuclear membrane is thin and delicate. 
and lined by a layer of fine chromatin granules. The number of chromosomes varies between 30 and 50. The space between the karyosome and the nuclear membrane is traversed by spoke-like radial arrangement of achromatic fibrils. The structure looks like cart wheel. Trophozoites are anaerobic parasites. They lack mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, etc. The trophozoites divide by binary fission in every 8 hours. They cannot initiate infection. This is pre -cyst. It is the intermediate stage between trophozoid and cyst. It is smaller to trophozoid but larger to cyst. 10 to 20 micrometer in diameter. It is oval with a blunt pseudopodia. Food vacuoles and RBCs disappear. Nuclear structures are same as that of trophozoid. These are the diagrams of cystic stages. The cyst is the infective form as well as the diagnostic form of the parasite found in the feces of carriers as well as patients with active disease. It is spherical in shape and about 10 to 20 micrometer in size. Nuclear structures are same as in trophozoids. In the early stage, the cyst contains a single nucleus and two other structures, a mass of glycogen and one to four chromatid bodies. The chromatid bodies are cigar shaped refractile rods with rounded ends. Actually, the chromatid bodies are aggregation of ribosome. Like chromatin, they stain with hematoxylin. Later, the nucleus divides to form binucleated and finally becomes quadrinucleated cyst. As the cyst matures, both chromatid body and glycogen mass gradually disappear. They are not found in mature quadrinucleated cyst. The cysts are present only in the gut lumen. So this is all about the habitat, epidemiology and morphology of Entamoeba histolytica. If you have any query, please comment. Share the video if you like. Subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos. Stay with us. Keep watching. Thank you.